Mysterious World Presents 5 Lost Inventions That Could Change The World Before we begin make sure hit the subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing videos. Let's watch. Number 5. Ogle Carburetor Ever get tired of your car constantly running out of gas? Well, in the 1970s, Tom Ogle created a new carburetor that pressurized gasoline into a vapor and injected it into the firing chambers. After extensive research and design, the cost of changing car production standards were minimal. After installing the new carburetor in his Ford Galaxy, the car was measured to get 113 miles per gallon. He tried convincing the car companies to implement the new designs in their vehicles, but there were too many licensing dilemmas. Ogil died in 1981, never revealing the secret to the miracle carburetor that could save us $3.25 a gallon. Number 4. Flexible Glass have you ever been carrying a glass cup or bowl when suddenly you trip and drop it? Well, at one point in time, there was such a thing as flexible glass. According to reports, during the reign of Emperor Tiberius, a glass maker came to him and presented a cup. When the emperor was done with it, he threw it onto the ground, not resulting in a heart-shattering crash, but instead only a dent in the cup. The glass maker quickly removed the dent by hitting it with a hammer. Tiberius asked the man if anyone was aware of this new invention, to which the man said no. Tiberius promptly had the man executed in fear that the new items would devalue gold and silver. To make matters worse, Tiberius also had the man's workshop burned to the ground so that the secret of flexible glass could never be replicated. Number 3. Global Wireless Energy Nikola Tesla is regarded as one of many great inventors. One such invention that never saw the light of day was the concept of long-range wireless energy. Sure, there is wireless energy in some cases with Apple's charge pad, but Tesla had grander plans. He wanted to provide energy on a global scale. He started construction on the Warden Cliff Tower in Shoreham. Long Island to function as a wireless telecommunications facility as well as fulfill the task of broadcasting electrical power to the world. This plan seemed great at first, but proved to be too expensive as J.P. Morgan, who financed the operation, backed out of it. Tesla was left high and dry, and the facility was eventually abandoned due to lack of funding. Number 2. Project XA Project Zam's long-term research project by Ligot to make a safer cigarette. Ligot spent 12 years and $15 million developing a cigarette that its research showed to be significantly less carcinogenic than its conventional cigarettes. Project Zay, also known as the Palladium Cigarette, incorporated palladium nitrate into tobacco, which made combustion of the tobacco more thorough and complete, resulting in smoke containing less harmful byproducts. The project was based on the fact that palladium nitrate acts as a catalyst, causing more complete combustion of the byproducts of pyrolysis, burning. The theory is similar to the one behind palladium spark plugs which caused gasoline to burn more efficiently in an engine. Palladium nitrate was added to cigarette tobacco, which caused more complete destruction of dangerous byproducts in cigarette smoke. The project progressed through more than 20 years of R&D, to the point where Liggett started seeking out sources of palladium and stockpiling it to begin commercial production of the cigarettes. Liggett killed the entire project, though, before marketing the ZA cigarette to consumers. According to the United States proposed findings of fact in the case United States v. Philip Morrisette Al, filed in 1999, defendant Brown and Williamson threatened Ligette's very existence if it marketed the cigarette. BNW also threatened to freeze Ligget out of joint defense agreements and exclude Ligget from the Tobacco Institute. The threat, delivered through BNW's representative on the Tobacco Institute Committee of Council, was based on BNW's fear that selling the ZA cigarette would be an admission against the interest of all cigarette company defendants. Later, 
In the late 1980s, R.J. Reynolds told the U.S. Food and Drug Administration that it would not make health-related marketing claims about its premier brand cigarettes because the tobacco industry maintained that conventional cigarettes are not unsafe, and that it would never reverse this position. Promoting one cigarette as safer than others would be an indictment of the tobacco industry and its long-standing position that conventional cigarettes are not unsafe. Number 1. Rife Machines After successfully curing a number of cancer patients the Rockefeller-owned American Medical Association AMA, later had this work laid to rest by closing down Rife's setups and seizing his equipment. Essentially Rife refused to hand over the rights of his work to the AMA because he saw moneyed interests as hidden ulterior motives. That the cancer machine would not be allowed to the world at large because the AMA and the medical, pharmaceutical establishment don't want patients cured, that would mean customers lost and no more revenue. So they have to keep coming up with treatment that only takes care of the symptoms, guaranteeing the cancer returns and thus repeat business. After years of ensuing court cases with the big boys of the cancer establishment, having had little money, exiled in Mexico to avoid imprisonment in the USA, Rife died of alcoholism. The pressures of harassment related to the legal battles and constant threat of imprisonment had been too much for him. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like comment share. And please subscribe our channel to watch more videos like this.